I've never felt so close and special to a Chili's. Welcome to Chili's! <laughs> We're here. We're gonna eat 45 menu items, AKA all the most popular menu items. I am beyond excited, also freezing cold, so we're just gonna go in and get very warm, happy, and merry, and drink lots of margaritas, and there's a car. Gotta go. This is a very highly requested video. I don't know why it took us so long to finally get in here. I am optimistic, and I think that Chelsea's gonna be eating a lot of food today because there's no way I'm doing this all on my own. Yeah. I feel like I'm at a Super Bowl party and I'm the only one invited. We have the Presidente Margarita and fun fact already, we're already starting with fun facts. They sell enough of these margaritas in a year that they can fill 13 swimming pools. I'm not sure what size swimming pools, I'm assuming they mean like Olympic size swimming pools. My favorite thing is that it comes in your own little shaker. These are Super, super sippable. We're starting food-wise with their classic nachos, which usually nachos are just a huge pile of chips, and then the cheese is all on the top, and then everyone doesn't want the bottom chips, and it's just sad and soggy. And this is actually the perfect way to eat your nachos, because each bite has the exact amount of every part you want on it. This is great ice. That's a lot of chicken in one bite. This is the smartest way to serve nachos, really. It's just making sure that each person feels like they're getting the perfect bite. Stop serving your nachos in piles. Start serving them like this. We have a white queso dip right here, which has some guac, a blanket of cheese, and spinach, and, and a bunch of salsa. I already have a feeling I'm gonna like this one more than this one. I, I'm, I love like white cheddar type flavors. Very smooth. It's like a, a better spinach artichoke dip because there's more cheese in it. Next, we're doing the skillet chili queso. It's just a bunch of cheese and a bunch of chili. Surprise, chili at Chili's. It's super meaty. I like this one more. That one's my winner. This one is the, it's much more chili than cheese, I would say. At least the flavor wise. It might be a shit ton of cheese in here. Okay, cheese fries loaded with bacon, jalapeno. We got, what is that, scallions? It has the right amount of like salty, cheesy flavor that makes you feel like you're at a party. But what I'm way more distracted by and want to talk about is the Southwestern egg rolls over here. So I'm gonna actually just take the fries and just say, au Wiedersehen. Bye bye. Did you wanna do the dip with it? Oh. We know what cheesy fries taste like in ranch. We know it's amazing. I'm gonna shut up. It tastes way better with the ranch. We've got their triple dipper here because you can dip each of these things into their own unique dips. So we have our Southwestern egg rolls, we got our boneless wings, and then we have our big mouth bites. This is a slider filled with bacon and onions and probably an aioli and cheddar. I'm assuming this is the dip for it. I'm gonna touch it with my finger because I am gross. Okay. This is gonna take a while. Mm -hmm. This is a really good slider. I think it's the bacon and the onions. I know it's the bacon and the onions. Sliders are usually just like too much bread for me, but this one has the right amount. It's actually a decent sized patty. It's a cute little patty, but it's a decent size. It actually fits the bread perfectly. Happy about that. We're doing their boneless wings, and this might be blue cheese or this might be ranch. We know how we feel about this. Blue cheese. It's the right amount of spicy where you can eat like five of them and then it finally hits you, which is the perfect perfect way for it to go. Southwestern egg rolls over here. These are a huge fan favorite here. People love the out of these Southwestern egg rolls. They got beans, they got corn, they got peppers, tomatoes, onions, and I think I would add a bunch of avocado to it. This dipped in the like queso, yeah. No, we're doing that. That's where this is going right now. 
new game plan. Don't dip it in any of these. Just buy the queso dip so you can dip your egg rolls into it. That is so good. A fried pickle disc. We have ranch, we have fried pickles. I am burpy. I am already, like, I... <clears throat> Okay. These are super breaded. I like the ranch with it. It's like a mozzarella stick, but for people who really like pickles, that's a dumb thing to say. It's a fried pickle, you know what they taste like. These are better than the french fries though. I like these way more. We also have the onion blossoms, the fried onion blossoms. Petals, petals, not blossoms. They were a blossom and now they're a petal because they took them apart. Oh, it's much sweeter than I expected. I'm gonna do a gross thing and lick the seasoning. It's oddly a little bit sweet and I'm so confused by it, but they said it was a Cajun Southwest seasoning. But then this, the sauce has the perfect amount of like, kapow. So then it, it all levels out together. You have some table side guac here. These chips have the best sound ever. It tastes like very fresh traditional guac. You want to put it on everything? Oh. I really have to say the chips are one of my favorite things here. They're super crispy. Fun fact, they are bottomless. So you can just get a bunch of this with your salsa over here. I think the chips are like a saving grace for all the dips. If I had to rank this round, I'm giving it to the nachos and to the Southwestern egg rolls. <laughs> There are so many knives on this table. Let's start with this queso burger. It's basically that queso dip sauce that we had just a few minutes ago, just doused on top of the burger. And a bunch of tortilla chips are super crunchy and crispy. I love that queso dip. I should not go in for a second bite. That's gonna be my favorite, I have a feeling. Obviously they're gonna put chili on top of one of their burgers. Why would they not? And it looks like bunch of like cheddar cheese. Okay, I like the other one more. This is Alex's burger. It has a bunch of avocado in here. We've got, is that cilantro? Oh, there's cilantro. There's, I think that's a white cheddar cheese, onions. There's a chef at Chili's that's been here basically forever. And this is his burger that he created and then everyone's been obsessed with it since. And fun fact of the day is that he actually was here today and made it. So I feel extra special. I am the cutest person ever right now. This might be better than the queso. It's super juicy. As you can tell, I'm like spilling out of my mouth. It's like you get a right amount of like tanginess to it. I don't need to keep eating that. This berry blitzened margarita here has strawberry, it has blackberry, it has tequila, it has actual little blitzen. Although it has a, oh my God, it's a chili on the nose. Wait, I was about to be like, blitzen has, is Rudolph, cause he has a red nose. They literally put a chili on his nose and they put actual little logos of, the, of chilies on the ugly sweater it's wearing. It tastes like a candy. I can't get over it. We're eating an old timer burger. It's like for the boomers of the world. Super classic burger. You got your cheese, you got your red onion, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, meat, and then mustard and a little bit of mayo. I feel like this is not the best bite. I think the center's the best bite of a burger, but I keep doing this because it's easier. But this is where the juiciness is, is right there. I'm just gonna go for it. It's a standard burger. It's very just classic, simple, your baseline of a burger. We're on the mushroom Swiss burger. So if you love that like Swiss cheese, melty mushrooms, onion, you're gonna love this. I'm going for the center bite again because it really is the best bite. And I'm sorry I look disgusting while I do it, but I'm, I don't care. The mushroom burger I would say is mellow and cheesy. It's piled high with mushrooms in there. I like more of a tangy or like spicy flavor going on. This one's like calm, cool and collected. This one is the boss burger, five kinds of meat. We have bacon, we have sausage, we have the burger meat, we have pulled, is that pulled pork? That's pork. It's actual pieces of just like 
straight up links in a burger. This is just a straight up monster burger. I don't even know if it's a burger anymore. Uh-uh, uh-uh, you're not good at it. This thing is crazy. Extremely messy. So many meats in there. Just a shit ton of flavor going on. Actually, my favorite from this was Alex's burger. That one's amazing. And then if you want to switch it up and do the queso burger, that's like the perfect amount of sauce. I just smell like straight up meat. We're gonna start with the Chili's baby back ribs. And one of my favorite fun facts that I learned from when I was researching here was that the advertiser who created the jingle, if you need the jingle, I'm only gonna give you part of it and that's it, that's all you get from me. And it's like, I want my baby bat, baby bat, baby bat ribs, and then I'm, that's all. The guy who created the jingle, he wrote it in five minutes, and he was worried that like Chili's was gonna drop them from the ad agency or something, so he was like, I'm gonna write this song really quick and they're gonna love me, and then they did. When he wrote it, he had never had a baby back rib. He's probably had one by now because you would have to at this point. Okay, ribs. Mm. This is falling right off the bone. Super sweet and tangy. These are super tender. And again, look, it's like cleanly coming off the bone like that. I actually really do love a good elote. When it's grilled, you have your cheese on there, and you have the cilantro and a ton of like spicy seasoning. This is really nice. I don't even know why the french fries are even trying to hang out with these two. You've got your fajita here, and we're just gonna load it up. You have chicken, you have mushrooms, you have peppers, you have a crazy blanket of cheese going on here. Bending to the taco, taco is not bending to me. You can like taste that it's from a skillet. You can like taste the flame, is that a thing? This one is very mellow, even though it's the Jack Cheddar, it's not screaming in your face. It tastes like it was like made in the outdoors. Why is that what I'm thinking? We have the steak, shrimp, and chicken. You actually got a decent amount of shrimps in there. And steak. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm making this one a little bit smaller than the last one because I definitely overestimated myself. So we got green peppers, we got red peppers, we have onions, we have steak, shrimp, chicken. I feel like all three flavors, <laughs> three different types of meat all combined together might be a little crazy, but oh well. They oddly kind of are okay together. It's not that weird. Thought it would be weirder. You're getting a lot of meat for the price, but I think the mushroom jack one is more cohesive, and this one's just like everything thrown together. This is the black bean and veggie fajitas. I like this one. This one is very colorful and cute and bright. Oh, and there's loads of corn, mushrooms, beans, Pepper. Oh, a huge ass asparagus right there. It's just a boatload of very hot steamed veggies. And you have like a green, little bit of a green sauce going on, so it's not in, it's not spicy at all. I would want to put a bunch of like Cholula or something on it to like crank up the heat in there. So out of the fajitas, I'm gonna say I love the mushroom jack. And then I would do, if you're not, if you're into meats, definitely do the steak one or the, the steak, shrimp, and chicken so you get a little bit of everything. If you're a veggie person, do this one. Just put a lot of hot sauce on it. We are trying the Cajun pasta here. That is their top selling entree. That seems weird. I bet fajitas in general are maybe at the top, but this might be singularly the top selling entree. I think the fajita is better than this. This one is like, middle of the road, very like subtle and almost simple in a way, that that makes sense, it's the top selling thing. It is really good cheese sauce. The cheese really tastes like, it's like an Asiago Parm thing going on, it's a little salty. This is kind of a breakfast for dinner situation going on here. You get a lot of, you're getting a lot of waffle and chicken for your money here. I think actually that has a good amount of the syrup sauce on it because I thought that this was just maple syrup, but no, it's that chipotle honey, like spicy, hot honey almost. 
I personally find chicken and waffles to be fine, just fine. This is super candied and the right amount of spiciness and sweet and there's bacon, oh, there's bacon bits on it too. Classic ribeye over here. I've had my fair share of ribeye in which I've learned that that's actually my favorite cut now because it has way more fat in it so it's juicier. But this one has like just a little bit of pepper and just a little bit of salt and, and that's usually all ribeye needs. I'm really excited about this classic sirloin because what they do here is they grill avocado slices on it and then they have their green sauce and you get a bunch of their salsa on here. Oh, interesting. I like this one more than the ribeye. That grilled avocado is like perfectly creamy. It's like a, the perfect little sidekick for the dish. You all have talked about how much you love the chicken crispers from here. I've heard that if you're going to eat chicken tenders as an adult, you get them from Chili's like a grown ass woman. They're hand battered and they honestly are plushy in my hand. Like they're very squishy. I'm gonna dip it in their honey mustard sauce. That is so good and so confusing because every other chicken tender I've had is not soft. It's not soggy, but like if it was soft, it wouldn't taste good or it'd be weird, but it's so much better. I'm surprised this is not number one on the menu. This to me is number one over the pasta. We have this insane looking smokehouse combo going on here. We're actually seeing some things that we've already seen before. In that huge monster mammoth boss burger, it had this jalapeno cheddar sausage actually in it. And now we get to eat it on its own. So that actually has little, little bursts and little pockets of cheese. Mmm, okay. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. Can you see that? That's a good amount of cheese in there. Then we have the brisket here, which again was on the burger, but now you get it on like a cute little like Texas toast. It's like bruschetta, but if you were from the South. <laughs> and then we have our chicken crispers, which are a little different than the other ones. This looks like the, the regular chicken tender that you're used to seeing. That one over there was way more like fish sticky. No, I like the other one better. This one does not compare to that one. I understand if you're a true chicken tender fan, you're gonna wanna go for this one, but just try the other one out. Mm, 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 Oh, there's another piece. I bet you're supposed to do this. I bet you're supposed to eat it like a sandwich. Whatever. We did it our own way. This is for the person who genuinely can't decide what the f they wanna order. So they're just like, just give me a little bit of everything. My favorites for this round, the mushroom, jack, cheddar, fajitas, the waffles, the, I'm, I don't know, the, the waffles, and these beautiful hand battered chicken tenders. We have Chili's 1975 soft tacos. These basically have been here since the beginning. We've got just so much meat and cheese going on in here. So it's gonna be your very like standard soft taco. These are crushable. You could easily just fold all of these into one big taco and eat the entire thing and then just roll yourself out of Chili's. This is the bacon ranch chicken quesadillas. This is like a Southwest ranch sauce that's really good. It looks like it's shareable, but it's not. Protect your quesadilla at all costs. That's the perfect flavor combo. This looks dangerous. Everything about it says, I'm cute. And when a drink says, I'm cute, you know, uh-uh, you've got a lot of shit going on in you. It's just that little bit of vodka that tells you, like, oh, there's, there's something in there, but it, no. Look how big this cup is. That's pretty, that's pretty sizable. I'd wanna put that in like a Starbucks cup and pretend that I'm drinking coffee and just be drinking that. Buffalo chicken ranch time. It's like really nicely breaded. You've got that very thin, crispy chicken going on with a bunch of spicy sauce, but then you also have the ranch going on. Shredded loaves to me like in a salad, meh, gross. But on a sandwich when it's super spicy, it's like cold and crisp and it kind of breaks it up. This is better than just getting boneless wings to me. I like this better as a sandwich because you're getting the lettuce and the tomato and the sauce. 
we have the bacon, blue cheese, avocado, crispy chicken sandwich going on here. It goes without saying that since it has blue cheese on it instead of ranch, I'm probably gonna like this one more than the other one. But let's give it a fair shot. Mmm, no. Oh. I actually like the buffalo ranch one more than this. This is almost too much blue cheese for me. Shocker. We're on the final sandwich, which is a grilled chicken with a bunch of cheese, bacon, and our Lord and Savior avocado. And it's like very balanced and easy to eat. My favorites are the quesadilla, duh, and then the buffalo chicken ranch sandwich. I've never been so excited to see vegetables on a table than right now. We have our shrimp, we have our craisin, we have our salad. We're taking a bite. Am I telling you everything that's happening? Oh. I'm not one for fruity salads, but I really like the shrimp in this one. I don't need the craisins. I do not need the craisins in my life. I do need the shrimp in my life. This is our El Nino margarita. Oh my God. Jesus, that is strong. That's like really strong, like citrus orange. And oh my God, that is. I'm on the buffalo chicken salad with bacon. There are like big old chunks of blue cheese going on. Here we go. Do you want a knife? Uh oh. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm. This tastes like the boneless buffalo wings that you put the blue cheese dressing on and then you have the bed of lettuce which actually cools you down. So usually you have like the celery sticks, right? Or carrots. Instead you're getting the salad to come with it so it cools your mouth down so you never have to stop eating the buffalo chicken. Oh my god, this is the quesadilla explosion salad. I do have to say it looks like an explosion happened on this plate. There is just cheese, just like and cilantro, like and then like dressing, like. I think this one's like a very much of a safe card. Simple, easy. What I would do is open these up and put some of the salad in the quesadilla. We have tortilla strips, we have this really good melty cheese, and then a bunch of chili on the bottom. It's definitely the same chili that we had on the burger, but it tastes better alone. Fun fact, Chili's was started because the founder went to a chili bake-off and like really loved the environment and loved how everyone was competitive and all hanging out together and wanted to recreate that. And obviously one of the first menu items they did was their own version of a chili. It's cilantro. We have some of that mild green ancho sauce. That it's zesty. It's a little sweet, actually. It tastes healthy, but very flavorful at the same time still. This is one of the guiltless menu items. We have our Santa Fe crisper salad with tortilla chips. We have a spicy, creamy sauce going on. And of course, three big chunks of crispy chicken tenders. I like the dressing the most on this one. I can already tell. It's like a Cajun blend sauce. I desperately want that to be a healthy salad. I know it's not, but oh. Out of this round, this salad takes the cake. If you're trying to go for something a little bit healthier, I, I adore that salmon. I don't know how I feel about this margarita. I think it's really not helping my stomach right now. If I open my eyes, will there be food in front of me is the question. <laughs> this round, you're like, there's only two things on the table. And that's because both of these aren't coming out until February, so we're getting to try them beforehand. So if you're watching this video after February, you're gonna be like, um, excuse me, those are already on the menu. But if you're watching it when we actually release this video, you're gonna be like, holy shit, when do I get these? And I said February. Please meet our newest friends, the Froze Rita, which is basically a, an adult frozen Slurpee tequila concoction. You barely can taste the tequila. It tastes really sweet and smooth. It tastes like blended stra frozen strawberries, which is what frosés are. There's something about it that says, I'm going to f you up. Mm -hmm. 
Not that spicy. Ooh. Did you speak too soon? Nope. Mm-mm. That's good. Spicy? No. It's not spicy. It's not spicy. It's not spicy. I don't understand. Because first it's sweet and tangy and mango fruity tropical. But then it it just sneaks up on you. God. I think for anyone who loves spicy food, they would love these because you can eat so many of them because it doesn't hit you all at once. So it would like build up. And probably by your last wing, you're then really sweating. But with the ranch on it, it's not, it's not impossible. We're starting with the Paradise Pie over here, which is filled with chocolate, caramel, walnuts, coconut, ice cream. I already said chocolate. It's called Paradise Pie for a reason. Oh, hold. Mmm. <laughs> that caramel is a game changer on this. Oh, I f with this. Maybe I just haven't had anything sweet in like a few hours, but wow, this is doing something for me. That really is paradise. This here is the blueberry pineapple margarita. It's not too pineapple-y, actually. It's way more of blueberry flavor than pineapple. You just have a hint of pineapple at the end. The tequila is really well masked underneath all this. It's like a tart summertime drink. We are ending with the molten chocolate cake. It's just loaded with chocolate and caramel sauce and ice cream, and then it has a hard chocolate shell on it, which is really fun to crack. Make sure you crack it with your spoon like really hard, as if like you're like, angry at the world. This is one of people's favorite desserts from Chili's. It's the caramel sauce on both these that's really doing it. It's not just boring, like one layer chocolate. If you had like a bad day, you would just wanna sit here with it and just snuggle up with it. I do like the Paradise Pie more than the Molten. It's almost like when you're trying to pick your favorite child and you secretly, you know who your favorite child is. In my case, in my family but it's like picking your favorite child. I'm at a loss for words, which most of you are probably like, thank God. I'm crying. Don't want it? No. I'm just so touched by chilies. I've never felt so close and special to a chilies. This place will really have a special place in my heart. Can I take a nap now? Yeah, I can take a nap. I'm gonna go now. Do you think they'll kick me out? Oh, this feels so nice. Wait, don't eat my food though. That's for me. I'm gonna go to bed. No, I see what you're doing, Chelsea. <laughs> That's my food. Oh my God. You're, you're truly something, aren't you? I'm really not getting up. I know you think I'm gonna get up, but I'm not.